Conqueror of Demons, also known as everyone's favorite best boy. He twirls, he swirls, he whirls, and he's a pearl for every fangirl. Hey hey! Hey Xiao! Anyways, before we start the video, I just want to mention that only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed to this channel, so make sure to press that subscribe button because it's free and you can always change your mind. Alright, so story time. I'm sure most of you already witnessed this cutscene before. This cutscene kind of explains the purpose of Xiao's character, but for those who just want a quick recap, here you go. Basically, there was a war between gods. Zhengli kicked their asses, or rather pierced their asses, which is way worse, but anyways, even if Zhongli was able to defeat them, since they're technically still immortal, their rage and hatred cursed the land of Li Wei, mutating a bunch of creatures. So Xiao and his other five friends were summoned, not created, I'll get to that part later, but they were summoned by Zhongli to protect Li Wei by slaughtering these festering mutations. But during that process, Xiao's colleagues were infected or whatever and killed themselves or whatever, but the important part is, Xiao survived. And yeah, that's the only thing that matters. Who cares if they're dead? So now let's look at his abilities. Elemental skill, Thunderclap and Flash. Xiao dashes through the enemy, gaining 3 animal energy, while also dealing a massive amount of animal damage. You can use this ability while mid-air, which allows you to damage enemies that are airborne, or even allowing you to pierce a ruined guard's eye to make them faint. You get 2 charges in total, which allows Xiao to gain more energy, and deal more damage. Moving on to his own to burst, Pogo Stick. Xiao wears his Yaksha mask, then turns into the ultimate Pogo Stick of destruction. While you're in this form, you gain a jump boost, damage boost for your normal charge and plunge attacks. The downside to this ability is that your HP is slowly drained while you're in this form, but don't worry, the more you upgrade your talent, the less HP the Pogo Stick drains. Also, all of your attacks are now animal damage. Moving on to passive talents. Passive 1, Mo Damage. While he's in the pogo stick form, Xiao's damage increased by 5% whenever he damages an enemy. Passive 2, Mo Damage, version 2. Every time Xiao uses his thunderclap and flash, he gets a 15% damage boost for that specific skill for 7 seconds. This can stack up to 3 because of his constellation 1. But if you time it right, you can reach the max stack without constellation 1 because the 7 second timer refreshes every time you use it. So just dash before the 3 second mark for the cooldown on your E. Passive 3, Mo Climbing, decreases stamina consumption for climbing by 20%. Yeah, I hate this. I wish it was like a speed boost. <gasps> oh, you mother f I'm gonna burn the out of your you mother piece of shit fucking vine now to Constellations. This is really, really long. Constellation 1, Xiao can dash one more time. Constellation 2, Xiao gets more energy when he's not on the field. Constellation 3, Thunderclap and Flash does more damage. Constellation 4, when Xiao's HP is below 50%, Xiao gains 100% defense. Constellation 5, Xiao's Pogo Stick turns into Pogger Stick. Kill me! Constellation 6, when Xiao is in his Pogo Stick form, his plunge attack will gain one charge of his Thunderclap and Flash, and for the next one second, he can use his thunderclap and flash while ignoring its cooldown. You probably could have just read that on your own, it's just really not that long. They should definitely fix that. So for artifacts, basically the same as every other DPS. For your hourglass, go for attack. For your goblet, animal bonus damage, so your pogo stick hits harder. Then for your helmet, choose between crit rate or crit damage, whatever you need more. For substats, pretty obvious. Crit rate, crit damage, attack, he's really just a damage dealer. Focus on those as much as possible. Fun fact, well, well not really, this is not fun at all. So as you all know, Xiao is still fighting against those demons to protect Li Wei. But those demons are filled with bad karma from the evil gods and unfortunately for Xiao, those bad karma has tainted his soul numerous times, filling him with hatred and agony. And since he fought against these demons for thousands of years, he accumulated enough karma, bad karma, to destroy one's flesh, bone, and soul. So if you think about it, the people who don't appreciate a death Dies are kind of a bit. 
Moving on to piece sets for beginners, two piece berserkers with soul shiners is what I would recommend. Martial arts, maybe, because from what I know, I am positive that the normal attack boost does not affect his plunge damage, which is probably why people don't use Shao with a four piece gladiator set. So let's talk about the endgame piece sets. For me, it seems that the two piece gladiator and the two piece verdescent seems to be the best choice for Shao, mainly because the four piece verdescent is for elemental mastery support and Shao does not take advantage of swirl at all. Most of his damage is from animal damage and swirl is a different thing. Also, no to four piece gladiator set because like I said before, normal attack boost does not affect your plunge damage. So there you go for the piece sets. Now for his weapons, starting with five stars, Promoto Jade is objectively the best weapon for Shao. The ability works perfectly with his passive too. Also the crit rate will help and it also has a very high base attack stat. Skyward Pride, such a underrated weapon. This weapon basically lets you spam your ultimate without any elemental resonance. The ability on this weapon is pretty good too. Crit rate 8% with 12% attack speed. Amazing buff there and you also have those vacuum blades for extra damage. Vortex is actually a pretty good weapon but this does kind of force you to use a shield unit in your team which is not a big issue. They don't have to be geo shields. You can use characters like Diona or Shenyan. Their shields will work fine but I would probably recommend the other two that I mentioned over this weapon. Now for four star weapons. Black Cliff is pretty perfect for Shao mainly because his ascension stat raises his crit rate so you don't have to worry about crit rate that much compared to other DPS characters. The ability on this weapon is great as well. The downside is that you have to spend glitters for this weapon. Deathmatch. You can use this weapon if you want. I don't think Shao specifically needs this and personally I would use Black Cliff over this but if you really need crit rate then I guess this is fine because the ability does raise your attack stat as well. The downside is that you have to pay for this and also the base attack is lower than Black Cliff. Now for the royal weapon I personally dislike these sets and honestly the ability doesn't really match Shao's playstyle either and this weapon requires glitter so if you are trying to spend glitter I would recommend Black Cliff over this any day. For free to play Dragon Spine Spear and Crescent Pike I wouldn't recommend these mainly because you're throwing away Shao's pogo stake and also because physical damage does not affect his animal damage. Prototype is not a bad choice for free to play it does have a high base attack stat and the energy recharge will definitely help but keep in mind that the ability will not affect your plunge attack so if you just start the game and happen to have Shao without any weapons I would recommend this weapon over those two physical weapons. Fun fact! Like I said before Shao was not created by Zhongli. His original name is not Shao either. Originally he was serving an evil god and Zhongli cucked him and took Shao under his wings and changed his name from Alatus to Shao. Thank goodness he did that. Now for teams. First of all, you need to know that Shao is a selfish DPS like Razor. If you use his own to burst and switch into another character, your transformation will disappear instantly and you have to regenerate your energy again. And since Shao has a high energy cost, you really don't want to switch. So this is why you want to use teams with passive elemental abilities to assist Shao while they're not in the battlefield. Also, since Shao's elemental burst drains his HP over time, you would probably probably want a healer in your team as well. Personally, this is the team that I'm using and I would recommend people to build a team similar to this. So I'm using Venti for energy recharge and crowd control. You can replace him with any animal unit. Zheng Li is there for the shield and debuff. I'm not sure if there's any replacements for that guy because of his debuff. So I would recommend using anything you want as long as they're helping Xiao. Bennett is obviously there for the heals and attack boost. He's definitely necessary for any DPS teams and I really don't have any replacements for him so if you don't have Bennett I would recommend building a different team. So for example you can try the pogo stick shatter comp like this, Xing Cho to apply constant hydro with bonus hydro damage and a cryo unit to freeze your enemies constantly. I don't think you need the cryo resonance for this team mainly because Xiao already has a high crit rate and also he's going to shatter them so crit won't matter. Personally I would recommend Kea, Chi Chi or Ganyu and for the last spot you can probably just bring any any unit you want honestly. Preferably animal units for the, you know, battery. So how the f*** do you play Shao? Well, playing Shao is very, very complicated. So you want to start with your Q ability and uh, you want to do this something uh, called uh, jumping and uh, you want to press attack while you're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not rocket science, but I guess there are some things that you should probably keep in mind about Shao's abilities. So number one, your thunder clap and flash will not regenerate energy while you're in the pogo stick state. Number two, for plunge damage, there's two types of plunge damage. There's low plunge and high plunge. High plunge obviously does more damage, so jump as high as possible to maximize your damage. 
Number three, like I said before, he's a selfish DPS. Try not to switch in his pogo stick form. Use all of your teammates' abilities first before you use Shao's. Also, if you're low on energy, keep using your team's abilities and switch into Shao before the energy comes to you so you get more energy for Shao. So here's what we call a mad movie in Korea. It's basically a montage. So yeah, Xiao is pretty cool and he's pretty fun. The only sucky part is farming for his artifacts. But that's pretty much it for this video. Please, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also check out my Discord server, I'll put it in the description below. But other than that, bye bye